I love them a little bit. So we'll see how long I keep this going. But anyway, um, oh my gosh. So many things have happened since the last time I talked to you guys. But dude, like I really missed you. Like I really missed you. I miss the comments, especially from my regular viewers. I missed the comments, I missed your suggestions, I missed you guys, I hope y'all missed me. So, the Philippines was phenomenal, like life changing, really, truly, it really was life changing and um, I don't even know what to say, like there's not, there's not a official, anything I could say, what I can say is that people's souls were saved. Um, we had Muslim kids converting to being Christian. Um, we had longtime believers learning a whole new aspect of God's heart for them. And that was amazing. People were healed. Um, I had one kid give me, not give me, but give a testimony. Um, you know, he came to the Philippines to study English. And um you know i was there totally impromptu like their principal met with me and was like hey i know you're really busy but if you have time can you come by our school and do like a mini workshop and i was like sure so i went to this school to do this workshop and you know like i said the kids were there studying english some of the it was 99 percent filipino but then there was like this small percentage of kids who were like in from korea studying english and so um, of course, I give the presentation, and I'm just being me. I'm just saying whatever God wants me to say at that time to those kids. And, you know, he was doing the typical Korean, I'm shy, like, oh, I don't know what this is. Like, cheeks were turning red, and he just looked flustered. And I was like, don't worry, just say what's on your heart. Don't worry, just say what's on your heart. And he was supposed to be sharing an idea about missions, how to do missions at his age without packing up and selling everything and moving to a new country like I did, right? And... Instead, he was like, you know, I'm an atheist because I need everything to be proven with science. I need science to make it make sense. I need science to understand or to believe it. If I can, if you can scientifically show me, then I, that makes sense and I can grasp that. And he was like, but after this workshop, after listening to you, after seeing your video presentation, maybe there is no science to explain Jesus. <laughs> he was like, maybe there's no science to explain love and I this I can believe. This I don't need science for. And he said, um, he said, now that I believe, I want to learn how to tell other atheists how Christ is bigger than science. Are you serious? Like in a 30 minute workshop, you know, this soul was one and became a disciple in 30 minutes, which further lets me know that when you just preach Christ, when you just preach the Bible, don't add to it, don't condemn people to hell and all this stuff, a hell that you didn't create, nor do you have power to put people in. When you just preach the sheer love of the gospel, when you preach that, when you share that, when you explain that, Everything else falls into place. You don't need to worry about people in their sin. You don't need to worry about any of that because the relationship that they create with Christ after being introduced to him through you will do the rest. Like, you don't need to do that. That's not your job to be the moral police or be the sin police. Because as I said in other videos, and I had people that didn't agree with me, but whatever. As I said in other videos, God, sin is like small beans to God. Like, it's not like, you sinned, oh my God, what am I going to do? No, he already solved the issue of our inability to not sin, which is what makes us human. He already solved that problem with Jesus Christ. So why are we harping on something that God has already given the solution for? Give the solution. Sin is the problem, but give the solution. Don't harp on the sin. Give the solution. And after three, wait, three churches, two schools, I am here to tell you that giving the solution, which is love and abundant life, purpose, direction, provision, and the icing on the cake, that's here while we're on earth. The icing on the cake is after you get all of that here, you then in turn get to live in heaven for eternity. When you just give that, 
and you give it with conviction because you know that you know when you present salvation through grace not by works but by grace i'm telling you it just frees up people's hearts and their minds for holy spirit to get in and do what he does and it was just amazing to see the simplicity of the gospel do major works and i was just so honored that god would even allow me to be a part of that so i am going back to the philippines i actually met a bishop on the way to the or at the airport and he was gangster he was a gangster bishop and he was like oh all my pastor friends are black i was like what <laughs> he was like yes and i travel back and forth to the states that's just the lord has just connected our passions together so all my pastor friends are black and he was he just started praying in tongues in the airport and i was like you better be gangster you better be gangster dude so it was cool so he actually invited me to come back and do the same workshop um at his school or at his schools and a couple of the churches that are underneath his ministry and i was like for sure dude like we're all about winning souls definitely but for those who are already saved who are missing out on just the woo of god i can't think of anything else to describe it but woo on the wall of god like that's awesome, and I would never, ever, ever turn on the opportunity because I know for me, I was safe for a very, very long time before I got the, Whoa! you know, there were works and things that happened in my life, but it wasn't until it clicked that, like, wow, like, he is absolutely in love with me. Like, he thinks I'm worth it. He thought I was so worth it that he died for me. I was worth it enough to die for, like, and still... He's covering me and doing awesome and amazing things in my life surely because he loves me, not because I'm great. It's his love for me. So anyway, the Philippines was awesome. Phenomenal. I wish I could hit the replay button. Like, it was it was great. Um, It was super hot. I will say that. And I said, Lord, you don't have to ever worry about me <laughs> not being grateful for not having to go to hell because it's hot. I can't do this. Mm -mm. It was hot. And the bugs were ginormous. Okay, when I say ginormous, I mean like... A mosquito will swoosh, like on the side of your face and you can't swat it because it might take a chunk of your skin like you just need to let it suck your blood and go like it's crazy like ginormous bugs like huge bugs but I'll tell you what as I said I would do it all over again I would go down there with a mink coat on and a wool hat if I could experience the move of God that we did I mean uh, people were getting ministered to people that we weren't even expecting new souls old it was just great it was just i just can't i could just ramble on it was just great and of course like i did for japan it would be impossible for me to like insert pictures and tell you what they all are so i'm just gonna make a video montage I have some video clips and then some pictures and um yeah i just hope that you can figure out what's go i'll try and narrate maybe um on the screen through the pictures but probably not that's a lot of work i'm just being honest so um since then so I missed the flight crazy, which set my schedule back like a day. So I was like hustling because we also, I also was planning at the same time I'm planning two fundraisers, one in the States and one here um, in Korea. And so the one in, here in Korea was this past Saturday. So having to host and do all that and then I didn't have a dress, which means I was looking terrible. But I played it off really well. Everyone said I played it off well. So I definitely, it's not a ball gown that I would have normally want to purchase but in korea they don't have prom they don't have anything you know how in the states we are always dressing up and there's always a ball gown somewhere yeah they don't have any of that stuff it's they don't have that so i didn't have time to get a dress made and blah 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 blah, blah. so anyway the fundraiser went really well we raised so much money so we'll be able to help a lot of kids this um this winter i'm um, at the orphanage as well as on base they have a performing arts program which you know we're going to donate to that and um march of dimes and you know so we just spread the money where it goes and um we're, we're as many places as we can send it and so that was a total success and it was totally unexpected because i was just like ripping it and running and i felt like oh my god i didn't do enough for this i didn't do enough for this but um my sorority was awesome our state director was even more awesome and she allowed everything to just kind of flow falling together she's like the black martha stewart shout outs to her it was awesome she came in and just redid the whole ball ballroom that we rented out and it just did not even look like the same place so it was really great pictures of that will probably be on facebook i probably won't post those on youtube because it's kind of like a random thing but um yeah for sure they'll be on facebook some of them already are but i'll post some more um as they come in and why do i feel like i'm forgetting something hmm. philippines banquet 
Hmm. I don't, I don't know. It was something I really wanted to tell you, but I forgot. The World Music Festival is coming up. <laughs> I'm excited about that. That's obviously not what I wanted to tell you. Um. Ah. Uh, right. So I need all of you who are believers to pray for me. And if you're not a believer, I need you to take a chance and just pray to God anyway on my behalf. Um, there's a really huge, ginormous, like, uh, I'm sound effect lady this morning. I don't know. I just run out of words. And sounds is all I can put together this morning, okay? So, but there is this really, 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 really big, awesome, fantabulous deal on the table for my school. Um, which will like fast forward the like as in October <laughs> October the school that I just God is amazing and I, I can't even get into details because I don't want to jinx it I want to make sure everything is signed on the dotted line and done but anyway just send up your prayers that the Lord the Lord's will be done um, for my school here like October which is a couple weeks away as in Right, we'll be filming live from my school. <laughs> like, um, school one, I do plan on doing another one, but the one that's that's on the table right now, I have a meeting on Tuesday for that. So if all goes well, um, yeah, that international school is right there. And I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm sure there was something else I wanted to say, but I don't remember. So anyway, this is just a little hi. I, oh, the topics to come. So thank you so much for your viewer questions. I know a lot of you guys were like, you didn't answer my question. And well, the agreement, if you go back a couple videos, the agreement was I will um, upload a video every day until I go to the Philippines. Because I knew it was going to be a while before I wrote back. Or not wrote back. <laughs> before I did another video. So that was the deal, and that's what <laughs> that's what I did. I'm so sorry if I did not get your viewer questions. Although I think that went really well, and I think maybe maybe once a month I'll do like viewer question month and or viewer question time, and maybe not for a week, but maybe every you know for three days I'll take three lumps of questions and answer those in ten minutes. Um, which I'm still watching the clock as if I'm on a time schedule, which I'm not anymore. But, uh, yeah, this is just the update video. I don't really have too much to say. Um, yeah, Philippines is awesome. The banquet totally surprised me and ended up being really great. Um, I may be moving. <laughs> I may be moving. Um, but that'll be, I mean, it'll be local. I just may be moving depending on Tuesday's meeting, obviously. Gotta go where the dreams are, right? And, um... Oh, clarification. Some people, I think, were, it was like, burp, 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 Singapore. Burp, 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 and you guys didn't understand what I was saying on the other video. So I am moving to Singapore. But that's like years from now. Like when the salon is up and running and when the school's up and running, then I'm moving to Singapore. But that's because I really believe that that's where I'm supposed to be. Like that's where I'm supposed to raise my children. Like that's nesting ground for me. Um, and as well as Pastor Joseph Prince. I told you before, if you don't know him, you need to get up on him. Type in Joseph Joseph Prince 2011 um, in YouTube, and any of his videos are all good. But um, anyway, he's a pastor I've been following for like four years or so, um, long distance. And I really just feel in my heart that that's where the Lord wants to plant me long term um, in goal. So um, while I'm doing philanthropy, which you guys know that's my end, that's like what I want to do. And I also know that that's my calling. The Lord has allowed those two to marry. So um, I'll be fulfilling my calling and my passion of helping others and doing fundraisers and just giving away money, you know, to allow people to see the heart of Christ for them. You need money to do that, right? So, um, but in Singapore is where I want to do that. So, um, and I really feel that I'm supposed to go to that ministry and however the Lord wants to use me there. If they need me to wash windows, I'll be with the squeegee working it out so but that will be years from now so some of you heard singapore i'm like whoa you're moving to singapore no i'm not moving right away um i'm still in korea shout out to all the new teachers who came who met me on youtube and then you ended up coming to teach i'm so excited to meet each and every one of you this is what i need you to do for me i need you to go to my facebook don't do it on here but go to my facebook inbox me your city and your phone number Hopefully, I can get a little tour going and I can hit up everybody and then post. And you can show us your city and tell us um, 
a little bit about you know being a new teacher and what you expected was it what you expected was it wasn't was it wasn't was it was it fuzzy wuzzy was a bear fuzzy wuzzy had some hair fuzzy wuzzy was a fuzzy fuzzy bear wasn't he right is that how that goes i don't know anyway but yeah so we're gonna interview and i want you guys to tell me your experiences thus far so um yeah shout outs to all the new teachers whoop, whoop, hi ade I want to call you Toro, but you tell everyone to call you Ade. I like Toro better, but I'll call you Ade because that's, you know, what you answer to. So, um, oh my gosh. So, Opa came to the banquet. Opa and Suhyun, which is his girlfriend, they came to the banquet and Opa danced. Like, if you guys have seen the videos with Opa, you guys know he's like, I'm an alpha male and that's just it, what it is. But... He was like, I'm going to dance. And I was like, what? He was like, I'm, I was like, wait, let me get my camera. So I have him. I have video and pictures of him dancing. I was like, dude, this is worth a million dollars. <laughs> a million dollars. So I for sure will definitely post those. Um, oh, my God. I almost forgot. Okay, so I have to do a whole video about this. Otherwise, it's going to beat me up. But men... The guy from the wedding video, and it, I think the title of the video is like AMBW Blazing Virgin, right? Virgin? He is going to be my new co-host. Ah! So not for every every video, because obviously some of these I do from my lovely flower printed home. Um, but the videos where we are interviewing people, I'm going to have an interview coming up with a Korean R&B singer. She sings... American soul R&B um, here in Korea and a lot of people like on base hire her for different events and things like that And we're gonna interview her we have of course the webisode So we have the Blasian couples and we're gonna go away for a weekend and then film the whole thing and then post it in episodes um, So he's gonna be my co-host for that. So anytime we interview someone or whatever He's gonna come and tag along and I'm so excited because him and I have great chemistry like He's hilarious, and we just keep each other going, which will bring you, suck you into our energy, and it'll be a beautiful thing. So I'm so excited to have a co-host. So, um, which I think is fitting, right? Because a lot of my videos are AMBW, so it only makes sense that an AM and a BW, wait, no, AM and a BW, Asian male, black woman, right? Um, host the show, right? That only makes sense. So, yep. Yep, shout outs to you, men boo. Men boo. <laughs> I forgot what cheesy nickname I gave you, but I will remember and I will say it on camera. All right. Um, I really do think that's. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Dude, Sunday, went to service with Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Now, I am not glorifying the man because we don't. We're all men. We all have gifts. And what you choose to do with that gift that God has given you is your gift back to Him. So his particular gift is singing and preaching, and that's what he gives back to the Lord. But it's the anointing that rolls with this guy is just phenomenal. And I, the church was uber small. Like, when I say small, I mean, like, maybe 75 people could fit in this in this church, right? I've been to live recordings with Donnie before, and the power of the Lord was awesome and gangster. And cool and he's really really down to earth and he's always the, i've seen him like three or four times in person and he's always like really down to earth he was still down to earth um first time in korea and it was so funny because he was like i didn't know what was going on his reaction was the same reaction as most people have and it was cool to see him have that for the first time but he ended up saying i'll come back whenever and his message was awesome i recorded it i probably shouldn't it might be illegal but i did i recorded it so i go back and re-listen because it was awesome and just talking about humanity and how you know you can't use your humanity as an excuse for sin because i mean we are actually higher than the angels just below god and so for you to say oh i sinned because i'm a human that eh, it's a whack excuse so it was really cool just to have him break that down and encourage people just like Dude, walk in your divineness. Be who you are and let God make you awesome. So it was it was really, 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 really good. Um, and just to have, I was trying to explain to my boyfriend because my boyfriend didn't get it. He was like, I don't understand. You know, the word is the word. It's just true. The word is the word. But how people worship depends on their culture. Even within the States, a predominantly white church worships completely different than a predominantly black church, which is totally opposite of how a hispanic church worships like or even a chinese church like 
it, it is different. Their interactions with God are based on their experiences. Their experiences are based on their culture. Their culture totally drives their perception. And so worshiping with someone from the States who grew up in church, who, uh, you know, went through and is very transparent about his past and God's uh, changing it. That is an experience that you can only get in the States. So, yeah, I did get there at 8 o'clock in the service and start to 11 because I wanted to make sure I had a seat because it's been two years since I've experienced that. It's been two years. And so my boyfriend just didn't get it. He was like, I don't understand. What's the big whoop? I'll see you at the church. And so then I was trying to explain it. And he was like, well, my church service is good. And I was like, oh, toot toot. I'm sure it was. And it wasn't about who's got a better church service. It was just about the experience. So anyway, Donnie was awesome. And that's the first time I've ever heard him like preach. I've always I hear him speak. speak. I've heard him speak rather at um, his concerts, but I've only seen him in concert. It's the first time I heard him preach, and I was like, "Dude, you better get it. You you are awesome, and it's great when you can bear witness to the word and you learn something new that you didn't already know about the word, and you see a different part of God's heart for you." So anyway, can't believe I almost forgot that. Donnie was fabulous. That was like yesterday. So I didn't take pictures with him and all that other stuff because I feel that's a little bit paparazzi-ish. So, but the service is really great. Okay, so we're at 21 minutes now. Um, <laughs> I hope that you guys have enjoyed my little update. I hope you enjoy my hair. I'm enjoying it. Mm, I might have something new the next time y'all see me. I don't know. Um, and like I said, pray for me. My meeting is Tuesday, which is tomorrow, my time, day after your time. Um... For sure, definitely pray for me that the Lord's will be done and that whatever door is supposed to open up, opens up and that I'm wise enough or he gives me the wisdom to know which door to walk through if a couple of them open up at once. So I hope all goes well and I hope October, you know, that is the month that it jumps off for the school. That would just be fabulous. For real, for real. Okay, guys, I hope all things are well. I would love to hear from all of you. Um, shout me out on this video or Facebook or whatever. Um, give me time. I might not write you right away, but it's because I have a million and one things going on in non-cyber world and then in cyber world. You know, and then y'all want me to get a Twitter? Woo! I, I have to condition myself for that. Maybe it'll be an easy transition and maybe it'll make life easier for me. I don't know, but I do know that this just sounds like... Mm, twittering, twi twigging, twigging, I think that's what we said we were going to call it, twigging, mm, twigging, that sounds like that's going to take a lot, so we'll see, I, I'll, I'll think about it, I'm strongly considering getting a Twitter, and of course, you guys know you'll be the first to know, so, um, yes, all things are well, God is awesome, you guys are beautiful, and thank you for watching, oh, hey, by the way, I think I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, I think, maybe, I think I am. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look, but I think I am. But listen, for the, I know for sure I have at least 500, okay? So for the faithful few of you guys, if you could do me a big favor and tell one friend, if you tell one friend to subscribe to me or check me out, and then I don't force them to subscribe, but check me out. If they like me and they like the videos and they like the flavor of the channel, please have them subscribe because the more subscriptions I get, the more when people type in my tags, it'll go to the top of the list, which means I get to have a platform to share beautiful love and hopefully wisdom and awesome things with other people, right? So if you can, each one of you tell one of your friends to subscribe. So the 500 will become a thousand, right? A thousand subscribers, and that's what's up. So um, yeah, man, that would be a beautiful thing. So, yeah, if, if, you, if each of you could have one friend, do me a favor. Do a favor for a friend for a friend. That would be great. And just have them subscribe to the channel. So, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. Have a good day.